at least the headlights are still looking good. How's it going everyone? Welcome to the video. Today we are doing some more painting. And as you can see from the last video I made with my rear brakes that I painted, uh, that color turned out really well and I'm really happy with it. So I decided to finally paint these big boys. Right here are six piston Brembos from a Audi Q7. And I will be installing these on my car with the help of the uh, adapter bracket for it in order to adapt to my um, hub. And then the uh, stainless steel lines, the pads, all that stuff. So we're gonna paint those. We'll install those hopefully this weekend. Um, a lot of other stuff has to happen in order for that to happen, but plan is to install those this weekend because that'd be nice. And then I need to repaint these. These are charge speed side pieces, side splitters, whatever you want to call them. And these were a little over $600. And as you can see, I already tried to paint them and completely ruined them. Uh, I did try to paint these when it was cold outside. I thought using a heat gun would work and would help, but obviously it didn't. So after I'm done painting those, we're gonna move over to these. I'm just going to use this scotch bright pad to rough everything out, maybe get some more heavy duty grit to get these little dots out of it. And we're gonna repaint them black because when I originally got these, these were just the regular, you know, fiberglass, non-painted, whatever color that is. Uh, I was either going to wrap them black or paint them black. I didn't have enough black wrap, so I figured, hey, I'll paint them. And obviously it didn't work out. So now I have more black paint, but I'm going to use uh, this scrubbing pad, whatever, rough, pad to uh, get these all scratched up again and then we will go in for a second attempt and if that doesn't work then I'll just bite the bullet and maybe get these things uh, sent out to get wrapped so but as far as prepping these Brembos these originally came uh, powder coated black so all I did was again use this uh, scuff pad to scup up the whole surface and then uh, just doing it that way uh, get something to paint something to uh, you know attach to and hold on to and then going with light coats all the way to I'll probably do five to six coats on these really get it on there and then probably three coats of clear I think I am only gonna paint one side like right here this will be the front side you will be seeing so this front and these sides on either end I'm only gonna paint those. I'll probably leave this backside black because I don't feel like dealing with it. So, so far this is the second coat. Going pretty well. It is coming out more green than I would have liked, but hopefully that gets straightened out with uh, the more coats I put on. Because if you haven't seen the other video, this is what I hope they look like. See that like, bright color she looks good though but yeah that's what I hope they turn out looking like so hopefully the more coats we put on this the closer it gets to that here we are four or five coats later now they may look really good right now However, when they dry, it's more of a darker green. It's not like this kind of color I'm looking for. So, I might try and get one more coat. I'm, I'm almost out of paint. I might try and get one more coat out of it. Um, I think the black powder coat as the base is definitely not helping. A lighter coat would have made it a lot easier. But... Yeah, um, we'll see how uh, the next coat goes. I think I might do one more. 
So I've really been laying it on there and kind of, you know, dripping it a little. But that's fine. As long as they look good from far away, I'll be happy. Yeah, you can tell it's kind of getting a darker shade of green now, which is what they pretty much dry out to. Might have to do one more. And then maybe the clear coat will help. It'll help kind of uh, get the shine back. We'll see. All right, last final coat. I ended up doing another quick one just on the kind of surface right here. Came out a lot better. Uh, it should dry more of this fluorescent color, which I will be happy with. And then uh, I think once we get the clear coat on, it's gonna look really good. So I'm gonna uh, let this dry and uh, I'll probably just update you guys when I'm done with the clear coat because I don't think you guys wanna see all that. Pretty happy with how these ended up turning out. Um, unfortunately, like I said, I did ruin those side splitters. So that kind of sucks, but I did end up losing that little scratch pad thing that I used to prep the calipers. I don't know how within a day or within a night I lost it, but I can't find it. So I can't repaint those side splitters now. So I'm just gonna do that in another video because the weather's about to turn to shit anyway. So hope you guys liked uh, that video over the brakes and we'll be installing those soon. Deuces. Deuces.